so what i'll do is like we'll start discussing this topic so parameterization is used to cater two things right in any etl to like power center cloud and all right first use case of parameterization is to encapsulate the things right whenever i do have any particular value which i want to avoid hard coding right in the expression whenever i am creating the default ports right created by created date right created date we are providing as a state right or created by we are providing etl admin etl user developer whatever right so those things so if i want to encapsulate it and uh, you know avoid hard coding right then i can parameterize it right as in like i can have i can continue having created data assisted but i just don't want to let the any other developer or user know what data i'm using right in that case rather than hard coding that in the expression i can have created date and then in the value i can use a parameter and then that parameter can be initialized at the runtime or it can be brought or it can be initialized in the parameter file and then a uh, parameter file will have actual value it can be sys date sys date minus 1 or any specific date that can be used so one use case of parameterization is to avoid hard codings and encapsulated things right again in the filter transformation if i have a filter criteria right which i don't want to expose to those users who would have even read access to my mapping right so those also will see a parameterized filter condition so these parameters can be used in almost every mapping right uh, every mapping every transformation right in the source also right uh, source connection source objects target connection target objects filter condition expression level calculations in aggregator like many of the places we can use the parameters so one use case we discussed is about uh, encapsulating the things second use case is getting the flexibility at runtime to initialize some value what does that mean for example if i have a source right where my source connection and source object is parameterized right why it is parameterized so that at the runtime i can select what is going to be my target sorry what is going to be my connection and respective object right if it is oracle connection right i want to switch between oracle connection salesforce or sql server right and respectively i also want to be flexible about which source table or entity i want to select so if it is oracle table then i'll select customer table right if it is um, sql server then i'll you know, select some other table or if it is like salesforce connection then some salesforce entity to get that flexibility at runtime um, i want to uh, i will have to use the parameter so these are the main two use cases uh, encapsulating the things and avoid hard codings and second is getting the flexibility at runtime to decide what is going to be my uh, source table what is going to be my target table what is going to be the filter condition filtering criteria what is going to be my expression level calculations everything can be decided at the runtime or that specific execution right so these are the use cases of parameterization now as a part of this particular module we are going to do three demonstrations right first demonstration is to create a parameterized mapping right where we can use maximum parameters like source target expressions right so we will create a mapping where we have the parameters and then we'll run that particular mapping to initialize the parameters at runtime okay that is first use case we are going to drive second use case is going to be creating a parameterized mapping and creating a mapping task on top of it and in the mapping task we will initialize those parameters that is the second demonstration we'll do third demonstration is creating a parameterized mapping and initializing the parameters from the parameter file okay so first is running and just providing the values right at runtime second is initializing the values using mct we'll create mapping configuration task and then we'll initialize those values and third is to bring those values from parameter file right and then we can also cross compare some limitations and i would say some advantages right was informatica power center versus informatica cloud with respect to parameterization approach i'll also give you context about 
uh, earlier right in informatica cloud we had like lot of lot of challenges or lot of limitations in terms of parameterization if i give you an example right then uh, even if we <clears throat> define a parameter for my source connection source objects and again that of target right i would have initialized the parameters in the mapping task level right but there was no option to initialize the source connection source object from the parameter file and that was the biggest limitation informatica cloud has uh, had i would say uh, three four months previously till that time there was no option to bring the connection name or the source and target table name from the parameter file right and that was that was like very basic thing in informatica power center but informatica cloud was lacking it right second limitation we had earlier was where to place the parameter file right in informatica power center we can create a specific param file directory and we can place the parameter file over there in informatica cloud i would say uh, an year and half before there was a specific directory inside the secure agent where we can just have our parameter files but no nothing else no there is there was no path customized path where we can have a parameter file you know placed it was only a specific directory under the secure agent installation folder where we can have the parameter files but that limitation informatica dissolved long back i would say almost one and a half year back and then uh, now we can have any particular directory or folder to be you know used for placing the parameter file so that one limitation informatica cloud dissolved second they came up with some new and advanced features as well in terms of parameterization so one feature which we have seen is it is not only the local linux or windows server where we can have the parameter files but we can also place these parameter files on the cloud hosted servers like aws azure google cloud right if we have everything driven through aws or azure right in that case why we need to have the parameter file on the linux server itself we can have it on any of these servers right cloud based servers so now we have that additional feature uh, provided by informatica cloud to place these parameter files on any of these servers we'll have to select that connection and then that specific directory if it is aws based connection i'll select the connection in which my aws uh, bucket and then the keys right will be provided and accordingly i can choose a path where I can have my parameter file as well.